It is 842. Colleges are trying to figure out how to hold all different kinds of classes while keeping students and staff safe from coronavirus. That includes student musicians. What do they do? How do you protect them while they're playing an instrument? Well, a professor at IU's Jacob School of Music figured it out by creating a special face mask. And joining me live are the professor, Tom Walsh, and his mother, lovely Julie Walsh. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Okay, Tom, I'm going to start with you because the mask was your idea and it was for wind instruments, I believe. Tell me how this process came to be. Well, it's somewhere around the end of May, maybe the beginning of June, I was thinking about what are we going to do in the fall? And uh, maybe if there was some kind of mask we could wear while we were playing our instrument, then we would still be able to meet in person. And uh, so I was talking to my mom on the phone one day and she's very creative and, and uh, is also very gifted in terms of sewing and, and other kinds of uh, artistic things. And, and I said, you know, I'm trying to think of what we would do for a mask that you could wear while you're playing an instrument. And she said, well, what if you put a flap on it? Hmm. And I said, oh, well, that's a great idea. What would that look like? <laughs> so Julie, we're, you can't see it, but we're zooming in now on the mask itself that has this little hole in the flap. Tell me how you then made this and kind of the design process. Was it hard to figure out or did you kind of get it on the first try? We did not get it on the first try. We did many different scenarios and this was the end result. And it, it seemed to be, we wanted the hole big enough for any kind of instrument from, you know, tuba on down to clarinet. And so we have a hole big enough, we think that, um, We'll accommodate that. And then the mask, the flap started out much shorter and it grew as time went on. And we decided this was good because then it could, with the magnets, it could fasten underneath their chin like that. So I want to know more about it, the magnet part. Um, was that part of the original design, knowing that you would have to have that on there? Or was that something that came later to say, oh, we need the magnet then to hold this in place? That First, came later. Velcro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So Velcro was the first idea. Actually, then I saw a video that somebody posted on Facebook of a different type of mask that used magnets to close it. And I thought, oh, we could do that. Because uh, the Velcro, uh, you kind of needed to use two hands to get the flap open, and that wasn't really practical. And I thought, well, the magnet, if it's not too strong, you could just use one hand to open that up. Tom, and is it hard? Real quick, I'm going to get back to you, Julie. So i sorry, I had one question. I know it's hard when you have three people and you're on Zoom and you can't see everyone. So it's all good. We do that all the time here. But Tom, is it harder for the students to play with a mask on when you're trying to get air in or do they really not have any issues at all? What do they think about them? Well, it's definitely more awkward than not wearing a mask. You have something that's, you know, in the way and just getting your instrument up to your mouth. Uh, what you discover is that doing that, you, you normally have your peripheral vision to see where the instrument is coming in. And, and when the mm. flap is covering it, all of a sudden you're a little bit unsure, you know, and so it definitely takes some practice to get used to. The students have been fantastic. I, I thought maybe some people would complain because it's kind of awkward, but they're just so happy to be playing together in person that, that they were really ready and willing to adopt the mask. And, and I haven't heard any complaints at all. Tom and Julie, we are out of time. I do apologize for that. Thank you for letting us know. We're going to let people know that they can see these instructions online and learn more about it. But thank you both so much for letting our arts continue in this way by coming up with a great idea. We'll see you. Have a great weekend. If you'd like to learn again how to make the masks, fox59.com slash links. Jim, don't you love the creativity and how, I mean, we're pretty smart, right? We can figure things out. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we continue to do that. It seems like every day we're evolving, trying to make things a little bit more entertaining, what we can uh, in this time, obviously. Uh,